Hey guys, welcome back to Hub Recaps. Today, I am going to recap a 2014 comedy movie. Name behaving badly. So, let's begin. Gin. At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a boy named Rick who sees his mom Lucy lying unconscious on the couch. Actually Rick's mom Lucy had tried to commit suicide, and many letters were lying in front of him. Now seeing his condition, Rick immediately admits him to the hospital. Then Rick learns of the latest written by Lucy. That Lucy came to know about her best friend Miss Bender and Rick's affair. And maybe that's why Lucy tried to commit suicide. Then Rick tells us how it all started and we look into Rick's flashback. Rick's mom Lucy is an alcoholic and she doesn't pay any attention to her kids, and she talks about getting divorced from Rick's dad all the time. Rick has a sister named Kristen, who works in the club. Then we are shown Rick's dad Joseph, and they also do not pay attention to their children and go away while they stay out of the house. With all this we also get to know this. That Rick likes a girl in his class, Mina very much, but till date he has not even spoken to Mina. Then Rick goes to meet Jimmy. Jimmy is the owner of the strip club, and Rick's sister Kristen also works in this club. Then Jimmy tells Rick to call one of his dancers. So to call that dancer, Rick goes to that dancer's house. But she did not want to go to the strip club, so she starts seducing Rick. So Rick goes from there to his friend Billy's house. Here we also see Billy's mom Miss Bender. Then Miss Bender sends Billy out to get some stuff. And then when Rick was alone in the house, then it starts coming closer to him. After which the affair of both of them starts from here. So the next day at school, Billy and Rick were talking about proposing to Nina when Carlos comes there. And he places a bet with the Rick. That if he made Nina girlfriend then he would give her $1,000, but if Rick could not make Nina girlfriend. So Rick has to pay him $1,000. Now hearing this, Rick also agrees to this bet. But later it gets realized, that Carlos is the son of a gangster. And if he is not able to give the bet money to him, then he can even kill him. After this, Rick sees Saint Lola in the bathroom, which is actually an imaginary friend of teenagers. Here Saint Lola motivates Rick, that he can impress Nina and make her girlfriend. Then Rick finds out, that Nina has a breakup with her boyfriend Kevin. And knowing this, he starts feeling that he can make Nina his girlfriend. And when his teacher was teaching him in the classroom, then suddenly he dies. Due to which the students get leave. Then, on his way out of school, Rick talks to Nina, and asks him to accompany him to the funeral of the teacher. Then Kevin comes over there, and Nina says yes to accompany Rick to the funeral of the teacher in front of Kevin. The next day he is at the teacher's funeral, and those people were sitting in Rick's mom's car. Just then, Nina tells Rick that she enjoys Josh Garbin's music and on hearing this, Rick tells her to impress Nina that he knows Josh Garbin personally, and he is also going to go to his concert tomorrow. Nina gets very happy hearing this and Nina asks him, that I too can come to see the concert together. So Rick answers yes. During this, someone hits his car from behind, and on the way out, Rick learns that the father of the church has hit him. Father then apologizes to Rick and tells him to get his car repaired. Now because Rick has promised to take Nina to the concert, so he goes to Jimmy and asks him to get tickets for the concert. So Jimmy agrees to help him, but before that Jimmy gives Rick the task of getting the drug from his dealer. Then Rick goes to get the drug, and he keeps some drug with him. Now because Rick needed a car to go to the concert, so he asks for Miss Bender's car and Miss Bender agrees to give him the car. Next day when Rick goes to pick up the car, then Miss Bender asks Rick to take Billy along with him. Then Rick and Billy come to Jimmy to get tickets to the concert, but they find out there, that Jimmy has betrayed them, and he didn't buy concert tickets. Further both of them were thinking that only then Nina comes there. Then Billy sees Rick's dad's car there and on going inside they see Rick's dad and Billy's dad with a girl. Now because Rick could not take Nina to the concert, that's why Rick would say sorry to Nina. And Nina also forgives him. Then the next day when they go to school, so a new teacher comes to teach them, but this teacher also dies while teaching. After this when Rick comes to the house, then he gets a call from the car mechanic, who was repairing his mom's car. Mechanic tells Rick that it will take another week to fix his car, so he lets Rick drive a very expensive car for a while. Rick is very happy about the car and has a lot of fun with Billy and Nina, but that night he is caught by the police. Actually, the police had caught Rick because they had found the dead body of the mechanic in Rick's mom's car and because Rick was driving the mechanic's car. That's why the police felt that Rick had murdered the mechanic. Here Rick is interrogated. So Rick tells the police that he went to that mechanic to get the car repaired at the behest of the church father. Meanwhile, a lawyer comes there, which was sent by the father of the church to help Rick. And at his behest, Rick puts all the blame on his dad and then the police leave him. Then when Rick was going to drop the lawyer home, 
Then by mistake the lawyer takes Rick's drugs. And after getting drunk, she starts coming close to Rick. But because now Rick loved Nina. That's why he leaves the lawyer at home and comes to his house. Coming home, he finds that his sister Kristen has invited several of her stripper friends to the house. Seeing this, Rick gets an idea. And he tells Billy that we will open a stripe club here for one night so that we can earn $1,000 to give to Carlos. Rick was thinking that he would lose the bet so he was doing this. Then Rick tells all this to Kristen and everyone else and they all agree to it. Then Billy also calls his mom Miss Bender. But the thing is, Rick doesn't like it at all. Then Billy goes out when Miss Bender tries to forcefully seduce Rick. But Rick is avoiding them. Then after a while Billy comes over there. And he sees his mom doing strange things. But then Rick tells Billy to take his mom to another room. After this, Rick invites Jimmy to the party. So that he can handle Billy's mom. After that the party begins. Billy and Rick start earning very good money. After a while Jimmy comes there and Rick sends him to Miss Bender. After this Nina also comes there. And she came there because she was worried about Rick about the police case. Rick then takes Nina to his room where they both come close. And they were about to kiss that Miss Bender comes there. Here, when Miss Bender was talking to Rick, Nina comes to know that Rick is having an affair with Miss Bender. Due to which she gets angry and starts leaving from there. Seeing her leave, Rick tries to convince her. But then Nina learns one more thing that Rick has bet Carlos to impress her. Due to which she becomes even more angry. Meanwhile, the policemen come there. Because he had opened the stripe club without permission. Here the police arrest everyone except Rick. Now with all this Nina is arrested. Which makes him feel very bad. The next day, Rick goes to the police station to meet everyone. Where he learns that Nina also fell in love with him. But now after this incident, she does not even want to see his face. Then, when he comes home, Rick gets a call from his dad. Because of that, he got into a lot of trouble. Because Rick had taken his name at the police station. So whatever was happening in the movie till now was a flashback and now we will see the next story. Rick was now in trouble from all sides. So he goes to the church to confess. There he tells the father about the affair with Miss Bender. So father starts fighting him. Because he was also having an affair with Miss Bender. After all this, Rick goes to Miss Bender and then makes him end his affair forever. Then Rick goes to the hospital to see his mom. There when he was talking to his mom. So his mom notices that Rick is very upset. So she tells Rick that you have to fix all this and admit your mistake. Hearing all this, Rick gets motivated but Carlos catches him. Because Rick hasn't given him the bet money yet. Here Carlos proceeds to bite Rick's fingers. And seeing this, Rick gets very nervous. But Carlos laughs and tells Rick he was just kidding and then Carlos leaves the Rick. After this Rick goes to the lawyer and calls him that I need your help to get my friend out of jail. Now because Rick did not have the fees to pay the lawyer, so the lawyer hires him on a part-time job. The lawyer then goes to the police station and gets Rick's friend released. After this, Rick goes to the hospital to meet his mom, where we come to know that Nina is doing a part-time job there. Then Rick goes to his mom and gives him a divorce paper so that his mother can give a divorce to his dad. Then, when Rick was coming out of the hospital, Nina comes to meet him. Rick first says sorry to her and then he tells her what is in his heart. Nina also started liking Rick a lot, so accepts his proposal, after which both kiss. And the movie ends here.